What is up fellow FPV pilots? We're back for another tutorial, tutorial-ish. Seen this question and this problem come up so many times on Facebook. Uh, Facebook forms, FPV forms that are just on Google, whatever. Everyone has problems with props. If you're a beginner, it's, it's just a hard concept to grasp right off the bat it seems for for anyone who's not been around the drones for a, a month or two. It's just hard for people to grasp, I think. And I'm gonna make that very simple today in this video. It's easier than what you even imagined. And you might need to buy something to make it a little bit easier. Cause I think it's easier this way and I think you will too. So stay tuned, let's get into it. Okay guys, so first things first, I want to talk about this Speedy B wireless uh, Bluetooth Nano 3 chip that they have just came out with a couple months ago. I have it wired up to my flight controller. It's got the 5 volts ground and then the R4 and T4 are wired up. Uh, the UART is enabled in Betaflight to get this to work and then you simply download the Speedy B app onto your phone and then you turn your Bluetooth on, power up the quad, this is gonna light up and then you just connect via Bluetooth and it's gonna have you create a passcode so that no one else can have access to it. You connect up and then you basically have full beta flight control of your quad, which is awesome. And this isn't necessary to, to switch your props, but I, I think a lot of people what ends up happening is they'll get the the quad going or and they'll get it all buttoned up and then they'll go fly it and it'll flip over so if you have this installed it's going to make it a lot easier it's not necessary like i said but if you have it installed you can fix it right up right out there on the field just hook up to your bluetooth and get the the props fixed okay guys we are in the phone gonna click search up comes our speedy v nano I'm gonna put my passcode in. I don't really care if you guys know the passcode. And here's beta flight. You got your setup tab, ports tab, configuration, yada yada. You know what it looks like if you've been in beta flight at all. We're gonna go down to the motors tab. Super easy. I already have the toggle toggle switched to reversed. So my props are out. By default in beta flight, it's gonna be like this. And you can see the prop rotation that is how the props will rotate or need to rotate if you have your props in. And I will, I will show you what props in actually means here in a second. Props out, you want them reversed. And all you have to do, so let's say, whenever you, so whenever you select that, it's just gonna show you the diagram of how the props need to spin. So, and as long as your flight controller is oriented towards the front, like that purple arrow says, motor number four is gonna be in the top left if the quad is facing away from you. Top left, or driver's side left, let's say if you were sitting in it. So, what we wanna do now is we wanna go into the motor direction settings right here, and yada yada yada, it's gonna give you a warning. Make sure your props are off, always props are off. And it's going to say da da da. It's going to enter to the uh, default settings. So what makes this super easy on the app is in not in the desktop app. It does not do this. Let's say you hit prop, your top, your prop four. This one is going to spin, and it is telling you which direction it is spinning. You can change the direction by simply hitting change direction. Now you want these top fronts to be spinning. Uh, clockwise on the right side. So you're basically, if your props out like me, that's how you want them to spin. You want them to spin in this direction. And you can see in the background, so let's say we, we finish. You can see in the background there. So if you go back in, boom, boom, boom. You can see in the background which way they need to spin. So that's that needs to spin counterclockwise clockwise 
uh, clockwise here and then counter on the other side. Okay, so we have it dialed in now. I don't know why it was, sometimes I think the app is a little bit slow or it lags. So if things don't pick up or they don't quite do what you need, retry them or restart the app. I mean, if you're out in the field, you gotta do what you gotta do. So right now we have motor four. I have it spinning. You can hit, if you slide down to each motor, they'll be listed there in the numbers. So I have motor four, you just hit the plus sign a couple times and it'll start spinning really slow because sometimes you cannot tell exactly how fast the, or what direction they're spinning because they're moving so fast. So it is now moving counterclockwise and if we scroll up, our diagram says that four needs to be going counterclockwise if props are out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test, we're gonna bump four down to zero. We're gonna test prop number two, which is the prop right next to it on the front side. So we're gonna bump it up a couple. And it is spinning clockwise, as you can see. Clockwise. Boom, bam. Then, take it down to zero. Then you go and test all of the other two. So you're gonna test these other two. Real quick, let's just do it. And which way is this supposed to be going? Clockwise, so we're good there. Go back down to the app. Last one, number one. And which way does it need to be going? It's going the wrong way. It's going clockwise. And it needs to be going counterclockwise. So we're gonna take its motor speed all the way back down. We're gonna go up into motor directions. Bam, bam. And we're gonna change that direction. We're gonna spin it real quick. And we're gonna hit change direction. Modifying direction. Successfully modified. Hit finish, go back down, and we're going counterclockwise again. So boom, bam. <laughs> counterclockwise. So, it's gonna be the same thing if you're doing props in. It's gonna show you a diagram and they're gonna be spinning the opposite directions. So, I'm not gonna bother that. I'm not gonna bother with going through all that. I just. I just wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration there. You hit save and reboot to save those settings. You might as well go back in and test all the motors. So bump them up to 1,003 is what I like to do. And then you mount up your props. <clears throat> so I'm gonna disconnect from the app we're gonna unplug and what props out means is that when you mount this up this is props in because your prop the down slope is going in towards the quad in down in to get this to go out you actually have to mount it on a different motor. It could be the one just in front of it or behind it. Now, as you can see, this, this prop is trashed. Now, as you can see, that prop down is out, down and out, props out. So, as we saw, this one is going to be spinning uh, clockwise. So that would give it that lift, as you can see, because if it's, it's gonna be grabbing the air, slicing through it up, pulling it up. So yeah, that's uh, the gist of getting props out or props in correctly configured. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, if it is, I can make another video or whatever about it, but it is fairly simple once you get the gist. Just make sure the app can be lagging. It can lag a lot, so just make sure that 
after you do the last save and reboot, boot it back up, go into the motors test, and make sure that all those settings were actually saved. This is meant, f this app is actually just meant for last ditch effort attempts to get your quad up and running when you're out there and you just messed up something and you thought you had everything right, you don't have your laptop with you. So I, I think this is a pretty good test of, of the app itself. It's an $8 chip if you buy it. So it, I think that's, it's worth it. You know, if you can get your quad up and running, if, if you got a few of these and you just pieced them all together or you just built one and then you messed up and you put the wrong configuration in or something, you know, and then you can fix that here. So I think it's a good thing to have just in case. Let me know if you guys have any questions <clears throat> regarding any of this. If I didn't do something right as well, or if I said something that didn't make any sense, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching, subscribe, on to the next.